What up, guys? Welcome back to Economics and Comics. We're going to go over the top five best sellers at my store from five to one. See what people are buying. It's a really good list. These are probably the five you wanted to buy. Um, so let's check it out. All right, guys, let's see what everybody bought this week from my store. Um, I, I got one of each of these too. So, I mean, it makes sense to me, but let's see, what do we got at number five? We have the Mary Jane black cat that sold really well. It says black cat has been kidnapped and the only person who can save her is Mary Jane Watson. Mary Jane has never liked Felicia Hardy and now she has to save her life. But remember, this is black cat. We're talking about. Things are never quite like they seem. Of course, the J. Scott Campbell was the big seller, and it sold real well. Let us see what number four was. Oh, Silver Surfer Rebirth, the uh, Momoko cover. They're back. No, we didn't mean the guys on the cover. We're talking about legendary creators Ron Mars and Ron Lim returning to tell a story set during their fan favorite run of Silver Surfer. Someone has stolen the reality gem, an object that allows the user to fulfill any wish no matter the consequences. But whoever has taken it is doing things like bringing back the dead hero Captain Marvel. It's up to Silver Surfer to team up with the least likely of, ali of allies, Thanos, 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 to find the gem and restore reality to its proper form. I'm excited for this book. I am. Okay, number three. I gotta admit, I was pretty surprised. Um, not that I think that cover is amazing. Okay. But there's a lot of rumors out there. VHF sent me a, a article on this. There's probably going to be a first appearance in here. I mean, dude, she's on a stripper pole. This meow Catwoman's Catwoman's board of Alley town and has returned to Gotham city proper for bigger fish to fry and to go back to doing what she does best, stealing crime boss secrets for the blackmail and looking damn sexy while doing it. Of course, New ongoing series writer Teeny Howard makes her DCU series debut writing the Cat of the Night, placing Catwoman in her first blackmail heist disguised as a stripper at Gotham's most secure underground club. Oh, Catwoman, hiding in plain sight in five-inch platform heels at a gathering of Gotham's crime elite while surrounded by all the beautiful women and other shiny things to look at? What could possibly go wrong? Someone messaged on one of my top tens that I'm... You know, how come you're still specking on DC? It's dead. Look, I, I agree with you. But I like covers. It's not all about turnaround value for me. And, you know, like for instance, this, there most likely will be a key in it, but that, to me, that covers sick. So I just buy covers. It has really nothing to do with spec. So if they're in my like top 10 list or whatever, it's just because I like it or it's a key. Um, But yeah, this was number three. Okay, number two. Animal Castle, number one. Second print. This book caught on fire. I've gotten more messages about this book than I've gotten a lot of books lately. Like, do you have an extra copy? Do you have an extra copy? Well, I don't know yet because of, of number one first print. Because I still have orders that waiting on other books to fulfill with these. Um, so I don't know exactly what I have. So uh, everyone's best option was getting the second print. And there it is. That was number two this week. And number one this week was Hulk. Number three. It says, Smastronaut, part three of six. There's another Bruce Banner. But where is his Hulk? The answer to this, that question, well, it's a doozy. And it's about to change our Hulk's entire course of action. The most insane action pack whole story you ever read gets even more epic as Donny Cates and Ryan Otley take things to a whole nother level. You know, I probably should have bought more. It is number three and it is Donny Cates. I don't know, but I love that cover. And that's it. Now, at the store, I bought a little extra of those extra, the, 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 the high picks, okay? So if you're like, oh my God, I didn't order in time or whatever, you can still go to the store, economicsandcomics.com, and there should be some left of those great, those top five, which were the top five sellers. 
So I hope you enjoyed the show. We're getting so close to Christmas. I, I'm considering uh, pre-recording a bunch of stuff so I can have some time with the family, but I don't know yet. Um, so I, yeah, that's it. That's totally the sickness. We'll see you later.